Intelligence and IES have recently announced a new partnership and planned software solution integration that will enable architects and designers to perform sustainability analyses at the earliest stages of building projects, even before time and effort have been invested in any design. So how will this work? Trelligence Affinity Software delivers architectural programming tools, conceptual and schematic design tools, and BIM interoperability with Revit, ARCHICAD, AutoCAD, and SketchUp, along with reports and analyses that monitor and track the design to ensure design to program compliance. We're integrating Affinity bi-directionally with IES Virtual Environment Software Solution. IES VE software delivers a comprehensive range of analysis tools for the AEC industry, VEWare, VE Toolkit, VE Gaia, and VE Pro, to analyze, assess, and quantify different design concepts and low-carbon technologies, enabling design of sustainable, high-performance buildings that don't cost more. By integrating these two solutions, design firms can make critical decisions much earlier in the process and achieve significant improvements in the energy efficiency, cost effectiveness, and sustainability of their building designs. Let's look at a couple examples. First of all, I will show you how simple it is to run some sustainability analyses based solely on the program model during the pre-design phase. Then I'll show you how easy it is to run analyses and get immediate feedback on designs at the conceptual or schematic design phase, as well as continue this through the detailed design phase, refining the design based on results while still tracking design to program compliance. Both of these approaches help the architect designer to answer some basic questions that will guide early design decisions, with a view to identifying potential sustainability issues and opportunities to increase the energy efficiency of the design, including lead compliance. Here we have an Affinity project file with a simple space program for a corporate office building. This is one of a number of program views in Affinity that are easily customized by the user. For example, I can move data columns and add new information. In this case, I've selected the executive group department and want to see or edit the room dimensions as well as the quantities. My overall program is for approximately 80,000 square feet. I can also view it in any number of affinity reports. For example, this space program report that shows me just the department and overall quantity and area totals. And this detailed space program report that displays the room requirements as well. Now, to run some early sustainability analysis based on this program model, I can use a couple tools in Affinity to capture some information required by IESVE. Firstly, I can launch a simple flash-based questionnaire in Affinity and enter the following information for use by VE. For example, the building type, in this case it's an administrative building. The longitude as well as the latitude, I'm specifying Chicago. An estimated percentage glazing for the building, as well as construction type. I then submit the questionnaire which updates the Affinity project file. Next, I can have Affinity automatically stack a building for use by the IESVE analyses. Uh, they do require some basic geometry as well as the form and function information. I can also generate multiple stacked buildings in different scenarios so that I can compare the results, helping to guide me through some initial and possibly critical design decisions. In this case, I'm going to generate a building with a large footprint, approximately 16,000 square feet. Um, enter this into a scenario that I've called large footprint. Affinity will generate the stacked building, resulting in a four-story building, uh, which has been stacked ground up, department by department. 
This is a view of the building itself, just in 2D form, but I can also look at it at 3D. Here you can see the four stories as well as the departments. Now that I have a stacked building, basically a design model, I can run some of the IES VE analyses directly from within Affinity. The first report I will run is the climate review. This will take the property information from Affinity, including the latitude and longitude of the site, in this case Chicago. The report itself, once it's run, it will display within the Affinity window, and it will provide various climate metrics and information that should be heated in the design stage, including things like the need to design to minimize heating energy given the climate metrics. Uh, tells me about wind patterns by the season. For example, prevailing winds in the winter are northerly, as well as the mean relative humidity. All good considerations as the design progresses. Next, I can run the building review analysis. This will take into consideration the building floor area, number of floors, average floor to floor height, as well as percent glazing, which can advise on a number of different metrics, such as the dominant heat exchange in the building, the rate that the building form can cause the building to lose heat, uh, and others. Now, by running this simulation on a couple different stacking scenarios, a short building versus a tall one, for example, the architect and or the designer can quickly determine which floor to area ratio can be most energy efficient. The third report shown here, the ASHRAE loads analysis, provides the heating and cooling loads for the building and rooms using the ASHRAE 2005 heat balance method. Uh, the concept is that any number of reports can be embedded within Affinity for use to run analyses on a real-time basis. These analysis examples were run based on the information in the Affinity program model. More analyses, however, can be run based on the conceptual or even a schematic design in Affinity. In the second example, I'm using the same office program, and I've also created a schematic design, in this case for a seven-story building. You can see here a 2D view of story one of the building, with the rooms laid out on the story itself. And we can also view the building both in 2D as well as in 3D. Now, throughout the design phase, with a bidirectional integration with the IESVE, I have real-time access to more detailed energy and sustainability analyses using the broader toolkit in IESVE, including access to IESVE Gaia, which can walk the architect through a series of analyses prompting for relevant information. When I select the sustainability analysis, the IESVE desktop will launch automatically. Now, in the background, the integration has loaded the Affinity Schematic Design Model into VE Model It. It then displays this dialog box from which I can select from a wide range of types of analysis, including climate reviews, building reviews, and materials reviews. The analyses include several lead reviews as well, including daylighting, water, and carbon reduction. From the Analysis tab, I can run additional analyses, including, for example, solar shading, which simulates shading conditions over a time period. Another analysis that can provide useful input to the design at this stage is the energy carbon simulation. It first runs several calculations in the background, including the Apache thermal analysis, which incorporates climate data over a specified time period, in this case a year. The generated report is then displayed, which gives me information on a number of different uh, aspects of the simulation. One is the building energy use intensity, the proposed carbon intensity, and reports on whether the 2030 challenge target is met for this type of building. In this example case, the target is met. 
In conclusion, this new upcoming bidirectional integration between Trelligence Affinity and IES Virtual Environment provides the architect with a rich set of information related to the sustainability of the building project at the very early stages, starting with the program model before time and effort have been invested in creating a design, and throughout the conceptual and schematic design phases, as well as the detailed design stages in BIM, allowing the designer to easily and quickly create multiple design scenarios, gather the intelligence to make critical design decisions much earlier in the process, and ensure a more sustainable and cost-effective design. Contact information for Trelligence and IES are provided on this slide. We encourage you to contact us with your questions and feedback. Thank you very much.